book haul at the Barnes & Noble store in Paramus. If you've seen the uh, uh, previous videos that we've done about the store, you'll note that uh, it's a store that has used and out-of-print books. And here's, uh, after we did the videos, uh, this, this one will uh, kind of put it all into perspective because here's the books that, that I bought today and you can take a look at them. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at them now. 1952 Official NCAA Football Guide. This is for college football and it's loaded with statistics, photos, all kinds of information about great football players. The Blue Book of Authors, Brentano's, this is from 1933, and it's a book about Brentano's authors, famous authors of the day, famous books, uh, little vignettes, all kinds of interesting things. 1933, beautiful condition, beautiful book. Then there's some others that, uh, books that I like, that uh, Strength and Honor by R.M. Mellick is a uh, great uh, science fiction, space opera, war with the Roman Empire in the future book. It's a series that takes place on the USS Merrimack. Um, another book is uh, Frost Wing, Richard Kanak, a great uh, embossed cover of a demon, really cool. Druid's, Druid's Blood by Esther Freshner is a science fiction Sherlock Holmes time travel novel, a really cool book. Two books that you'll enjoy and are kind of getting tough to find are Barry Sadler's um, Tasca series, number 13 and 14. These are reprints, but uh, whether they're reprints or first uh, paperback originals, they're tough to find. The Phoenix and the Assassin in the, uh, in the um, Eternal uh, Warrior, Eternal Soldier series, Eternal Mercenary. Uh, Blade number 20, these books were really popular and hot in the 70s. They were kind of like a adult Conan, and I remember reading them that back then, and they were really pretty good. Fun stuff, light reading though. Uh, the Sacrilege is a Roman mystery by John Maddox Roberts. He's written a lot of uh, Historical mysteries set in ancient Rome, and they're uh, pretty good books. Margaret Weiss, uh, Amber and Ashes. I've not read this, but it's uh, got a great, intriguing cover of a beautiful, sexy woman. Pride and Prejudice by Jean Austen. Is, uh, Penguin Books is not really what it seems. If I open it up, it's really just a book of blank pages. It's a, uh, a uh, notebook in the style of a penguin, it's Jane Austen, but it's pretty cool. And uh, Pro Football, 1974, kind of a cool book. Um, that's, that's the part of the stuff that the, for this book haul. The other thing was uh, I picked up 14 books in the British... Arrow, uh, E.C. Tubb, Dumeris Saga. So I want to show those now. These are, these are books that were published from 73 to 79 in the UK. And uh, they're wraparound covers. Every one of them has a wraparound cover. Okay. Of course, the fronts are better than the backs. That was number... That's a good idea. That was number four in the series. They're all numbered on the spine. And uh, they, they had reprints from uh, up until the 1980s. So that's, the, that's uh, number four, Kalen. Number five, the jester at Scar. Number six is Lala. Number seven is Technos. These are all Wraparound covers by Fred Gambino, who was the cover artist on this series. Number eight is Verruccia. I have trouble with some of the pronunciation. Number nine is Mayin. 
These are all written by A.C. Tubb in his Doomerist Saga of 32 books. Number 11 is Xenia. And again, the back covers and all wraparound covers, and the covers are pretty nice. Um, number 10 is John Dell. Number, then we go up to uh, They're a little out of order. <laughs> Number three is Toy Man. And the back cover of that. Number 12 is Eloise. Number 13 is Eye of the Zodiac. Number 14 is Jack of Swords. Uh, as you get up to the higher numbers, they get more difficult. Arrow published these in the United Kingdom. They weren't uh, available in the United States. A really stunning cover for number 15, Spectrum of a Forgotten Sun. Great cover there, in the back cover. And number 16, Haven of Darkness. So they're all Covers by uh, Fred Gambino, wraparound covers, Arrow Books from 73 or 79. Some of these are reprints, but they use the same cover art. And um, that's part of the Doomerous series. Uh, my, my connection to the Doomerous series is that um, I published the rare 32nd book in the series, The Return, this kind of... Uh, uh, brought all the parts of the series together and, a, and completed the series. That was in 1994, uh, number 32 in the series. What happened was E.C. Tubb, in his, in, in, his in, in his introduction to the book, tells about how the series was uh, stopped uh, publication by the publishers, and he had already written this book. It was published in France in French, but there was never an English edition. So Greifen, I, I under Greifen, my Greifen Books imprint published the book and uh, with an introduction by uh, E.C. Tubb explaining about, the, uh, uh, about what happened and how the book came to be. And there was 100 signed copies and, and this was one of the signed one. This is number four. And there you see the signatures of uh, Phil Harbottle who was the editor and uh, who helped me secure the rights to publish the book. And you see E.C. Tubb and Ron Turner, the cover artist who did the new art for this cover. So that kind of brings it all around. I'm proud to, under Greifen Books, to have published this book in that series. And um, that's one of the uh, kind of tough now to find. It's been reprinted, but the Greifen Books edition, especially the signed, 100 copy one is uh, pretty rare. Uh, all of these, this is the book haul from uh, from the uh, Barnes & Noble at Paramus today. Uh, found a few nice things, some interesting things, uh, off the wall things, you never know what you're going to find there. It's a, it's kind of a crapshoot because you never know what they get in and, and, they, and they do change the prices. They have books that are uh, at higher prices, five or ten or twenty dollars and then they'll discount them 50% or 75%. Sometimes you'll have a book that's $20 and they'll just discount it and it'll be in the dollar bin. So you never know what you're gonna find there. It's hit or miss. But like they say, the, uh, the thrill is in the hunt and uh, you, you never know what you're gonna find. So just wanted to share that with you. I uh, hope you enjoyed these videos at the, uh, the uh, look, looking around at the uh, Barnes & Noble store that's on uh, Route 17 North in uh, Paramus, New Jersey, in the rare and um, uh, out of print uh, section uh, of the store. And uh, without further ado, we just want to thank you for looking. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. What are you waiting for? And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and this look at the store and uh, see you next time.